Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And making their debut on the channel is a little lovely band called Nightwish. Yes, indeed. Now, I was warned by the requester that once I do this, the army will come. So, uh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> uh, I will say this, though. Uh, Nightwish army fans... I'm not going to pander. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. If I don't like the track, please don't come after me. I'm going to be, you know, as unbiased as possible. Look at it very uh, subjectively as possible. But we're going to be reacting to Ghost Love Score Live. Link to that original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Andreas Scheitel. Hopefully I pronounced your last name correctly. I do apologize. But as always, going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments, if I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. But no more going around. Let's check it out. All right. Ghouls and Ghost Nightwish. Ghost Love Score Live Vakken Open Air 2013. I already dig in the symphonic nature. Pretty fucking cool. Chuggy Groove. Field change there. It's got an amazing voice. Silent from the deep came to me, sang my name, my love. Still I write my songs about the dreams 
Solo. I love the, all the ambiance. More lighters. Ah, oh, that was gonna be. Deeper there. Captivating that crowd.
Yeah, hit all them harmonics. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that was... That was a journey. There is so much to be said right now. Um, let me collect my thoughts a little bit. Uh, I, I want to look at the lyrics as well, just to have a better feel of that sort of imagery, because the imagery here w was phenomenal. So um, I want to do it justice. I want, like again, I'm going to look at the lyrics. Uh, see in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Nightwish with Ghost La Score. Live Vakin. Link to that original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by Andreas Chaitel. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. Now, let's go right into these lyrics. Ghost Love Score. We used to swim the same moonlight waters, oceans away from the wakeful day. My fall will be for you. My fall will be for you. My love will be in you. If you be the one to cut me, I will bleed forever. Scent of the sea before the waking of the world brings me to thee into the blue memory. My fall will be for you. My fall will be for you. My love will be in you. If you be the one to cut me, I will bleed forever into the blue memory. A siren from the deep came to me, saying my name, my longing. Still I write my songs about the dream of mine, worth everything I may ever be. The child will be born again. That siren carried me to him, him to me, excuse me. First of them true loves, singing on the shoulders of an angel, without care for love and loss. Bring me home or leave me be, my love in the dark heart of the night. I have lost the path before me, the one behind me will lead me. Take me, cure me, kill me, bring me home every way, every day. Just another loop in the hangman's noose. Take me, cure me, kill me, bring me home every way, every day. I keep on watching us sleep. Relive the old sin of Adam and Eve, of you and me. Forgive the adoring beast. Redeem me into childhood. Show me myself without the shell. Like an advent of May, I'll be there when you say, Time to never hold our love. My fall will be for you. My fall will be for you. My love will be in you. You were the one to cut me, so I'll bleed forever. Okay. Again, taking into account of reliving the old sin of Adam and Eve, I definitely feel that this is about the, f you know, you're, you're in the garden, you're at your best, and then through the influence of one another, you both fall. That's why when she gets cut, she will be forever because that love is everlasting. I, 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 it almost seems like the imagery is the narrator is already dead and looking down at people sleeping and just reminiscing of what once was. That's why she has all those blue feelings. And, and she talked about beasts and angels, so it's definitely... You know, dealing with that in my personal opinion. Great lyrics. All right. Musically, definitely symphonic metal. Absolutely enjoyed this. Great guitar tone. You can hear the bass. Her her voice to me was the the apex. To me. I, I wanted to close my eyes and just, 
feel every note coming out of her mouth. She took that song and elevated it to me. Not to say that they weren't good, because they were absolutely phenomenal, too. The stage setup was on point. The lighting was on point. Uh, I like where they, they went off of the stage during the slow parts. And then they came back, and they built and built and built. It got me right in there with them. I wanted to, to be there in the crowd, clapping my hands, pumping, uh, pumping those fists. Uh, great stage presence. Got the crowd engaged. They were singing every word along with her. Anytime you can add fire to a performance, I'm for it. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, the, the type of music that I do, uh, I, I love Rammstein. I love heavy metal. Uh, Metallica, Megadeth, Pantera, Megahertz, a lot of German bands. Um, yeah, th this is right up my alley for sure. I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of requests. Can't wait for them all. Uh, but this is a great introduction. It was like a journey. It felt like this piece could be in like any movie set in like, like a mythical land. Um like a fairy tale land maybe as well you got your epic battle music I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm blown away I think I covered all the bases there we got the guitars the bass drums the singing the stage presence the lighting yeah it's a complete package here uh, are they were they headlining at Vakit I don't know if this was the same time uh, that Rammstein 2013 did theirs. I, I'm pretty sure Rammstein would have been uh, headlining, but either way, they should have been. <laughs> no, uh, just overall fantastic piece. I, I, the only bad thing I would say, and again, this is splitting here, is like I feel drained because it was just it was the high and then the come back down, okay, and then they bring you back up high. It felt like this might have been like a closer, a closing song. Because I just, like I said, I I feel completely drained in a very good way. So much emotion. Now, that being said, taking everything into account, score. A no brainer from my end. If I could go higher, I would, but five skulls out of five. Absolutely happy with that score. For all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. Now, for those of you who are inclined to send some requests, uh, please note that we do have three separate queues going right now. Uh, one is the original reviews and reactions. Uh, I have trailer Tuesdays and Thursdays where we take a look at new and old trailers. Uh, generally, it's uh, horror-centric, but you can do any sort of movies you want. And we're also getting requests for the Halloween October 1st through the 31st. I want to do 31 special Halloween horror themed songs. Any of those, please look in the description box to see how to send them to me. I would greatly appreciate it. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.